Hi all, it's been a while since my last YouTube video. In my last YouTube videos I would have been working on Sally, my red VG Ute. She's no longer around anymore. Today we're working on Sarah, my silver VYSS Ute. And in the garage we've got Sandra D, my new red VG Ute that I'll probably be doing plenty of videos on in the future. In today's video we're going to be changing over a door. Because as you can see I had a little bit of a bingle and I need to change that over to the new door I've got. As well as I need to change over the quarter panel but I'm going to do that in another video at a later date, okay? So alright, let's get to it. On today's video... We're going to need an 8mm socket. We're going to need a door pin extractor that I picked up off eBay. Plenty of people have told me just to use nuts and bolts, but when they're this cheap, you might as well just get one off eBay. As well as a bit of gentle persuasion to knock those nasty pins out, because I've been told they're a bit of a bugger. Also, since we're working with doors, we're going to remove some electrics. So, as per usual, I'm just going to disconnect the battery just to make sure everything's safe. To start off with removing the door, we're just going to get our 8mm socket. Just undo these parts here. This removes the first part of the door. Don't lose these bolts. You'll need them when you replace your new door open. And then just slide that back in there if you can. If you can't, just leave it out. It's not going to get in the way. Put them down there. Next part is, you need to pull this wiring out. There's a big socket in here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a couple pins on either side you've got to press on them and the whole lot will just slip out. There you go. I wouldn't slide that one back in there because you may not get it back out. Next part's probably going to be the hardest one out of the lot and that's removing the door hinges itself. What we'll do is I'm going to remove the top one first because that's a bit easier because I've got to get in the car. I've got to remove the bottom cap off. Again, just put that aside, don't lose it. Now I've already pre-chosen which thread I need to put in here. And you just slide it on up. And you might need to use your hammer, but sometimes you don't. You've got to press that top cap out. And you'll see the top pin in here. This is where you need to gently get this thread on top of that thread now. Now if you've got giant hands like me, this may be a bit difficult. You don't want to lose the thread, but there it is, it's on. And you just screw it on. And yeah, this is where you get in that metal pin kit. The big metal bar. Put that in there like that. And apparently just meant to come out and it slowly is. It's probably going to be just a bit of a while because who knows when the delta this door was last taken off. And that's one pin done. Now for the next pin, I've got a milk crate under that door there so that's why it didn't fall down. But I've also got my wife here, she's going to hold the door for me when I bang this next one out. The top one's going to be bung out downwards the bottom one's got to hit out upwards. Could I have that you can see the pin there, that just hit that straight out. And you just slide that off and then that's the top door pin. So I'm just going to put that aside. I don't think it matters if you put the, t the top door pin in the bottom door pin when you go to replace your door, but just in case, I'm going to put it aside just to make sure I don't stuff that up. So, door's back on, or the new door, I should say. Uh, wasn't as fun as what I thought it would have been, but then never is. The hardest part would not have been removing the pins. It would have actually been getting the door off by yourself. I did actually in the end need hand from the wife. There's no one else going to get that door on or off without someone's assistance. Now I did have the pin on the bottom hand of the door did break on me. So what I've done is I've just put the, the larger of the two broken halves in that bottom pin section because obviously I didn't have any spare pins with me. Easy fix so whenever I get around to getting some more pins I'll just take that bottom one out and put, it, and put the new one back in. As for that, uh, all the electrics works. I've plugged it all back in. Mirror works, window works, um, ignit like the lock-in works, which is fantastic. Only downside is to it is that obviously this door and this quarter panel come off a sedan. 
Uh, Calais, I believe, too, so that's why I've got the trim there. I'll eventually get rid of them at some point. It's also, it says got the V6, well, no, this is a V8, so I'm going to get rid of that too, but I've also debated about just debadging the whole car altogether. Other than that, everything's going smoothly. I'll get it retinted at one stage. Now, well, one other thing I thought of is that I said I was going to do another video on that at a later date. Well, it turns out, with the damage that was done to that quarter panel there, I could not get the new door on without stuffing up the new quarter panel. And as you can see, there's actually a little bit of a scratch there from when I was when I was initially fitting them. So I had to end up taking the quarter panel off as well and changing that. Over. No big deal. Not just meant I had to take some of the skirting off and take them pop some screws out of the front there. So anyway, other than that, any questions? Just you know, shoot us a message or put a comment, whatever it may be. So, uh, see you next time.